Let's say I'm searching for sounds kind of like that. So, let's look at this R2D2 thing. I'm trying to make a vid. Hopefully the audio is going to come through. And it's kind of about the whole edit mode. Or the ability to edit blocks while you're going. So, regular ping pong delay, yeah? I've set this up with time and mix. Match the different values on the XP. It always gives that signature. Let's say I'm searching for sounds kind of like that, but I want to get the feedback to come in harder. If I hold down the mode button, hit ping pong. I can now adjust feedback on the fly. And you can do this in all the big boys and the HXFX. This help mode, this, this edit mode, sorry, is not present in the stomp. And I'm now using this so much that what I'm trying to do is move that kind of functionality to the HX stomp and that can be done with MIDI. So, you know, freeze effect. And the longer you leave that, the more interesting it gets. So with one simple block, you can have a lot of fun. You can leave it, you can save it in there exactly as it is. Then there's the whole other half of this. So. In a sec while I grab this. Now, above and beyond this, the rest of these switches are all set up to run the plethora. So, whilst I'm making a sound, I can turn off those delays, those reverbs, and tweak them remotely from here. So, pretty cool. As you can see here, I'll turn this on from Left to right, right to left, sorry. And those can be embedded in the snapshot, so those will come on, go off as you like, and all I have to do is just rock one EXP and have all this stop. So that's what's coming up. It's a complicated way to do it with MIDI. It could be simple ways, like down here on the Helix, to map a block like this, all you do is just go hit expression pedal, hit the two or three parameters you want, set max and mins, and you're done. That's easy. And you could do that remotely if you wanted to run this on a stomp. You could just do that in a stomp, two or three, and that block in that preset will respond to the XP in ways you want. But you can't adjust things on the fly without bending down or doing it. Nothing like this whole edit thing. So stay tuned in the next few days, I'll be trying to splay out the logic and the major benefit of putting in the effort to go ahead and do something like this because whilst it may seem complicated at first, once you get a taste for this, you kind of want it all the time. And if you're swapping between a big board and a portable board, you'd miss it. So you can do this and you can do even a bit more with an MC6 with a bit of messing around. The one major thing to look at, sorry, when in this mode, on the Helix, this thing is literally taking up pages and pages and pages. You've got six different values there and another three, so up to nine values. 
I personally don't think you're ever going to need all nine, but if you had an MC6, you've got six free. You could pick the, the six that you're most likely going to want to use, or even four, or three, or two, and have on tap all the time the ability to go in and change individual you know, knobs and levers and, and gizmos as you're playing. So maybe not your typical live situation when you're in a group, but if you're doing anything cinematic or you're doing compositional stuff, you're just trying to find some weird, crazy effect. You really want full control of this stuff. That's what we're going to do.